our reward for nine days flogging across from Malaysia, anchored in the clear blue waters of the Maldives, on the northernmost island, Uligan, where everything was beautifully arranged by Assad and his guys, including top-ups with petrol and diesel and fresh veggies straight out the garden. They send us a photograph. <laughs> Would this eggplant do just before they plucked it? Brilliant. Dip in the beautiful water. Going to need a fly mole for that anti fouling soon. Anyway, we headed ashore to do some snorkeling down at the end of the beach in the COVID-free zone. Cleaner than we left, Assad and his buddy brought us a gift of special Maldivian treats for an evening meal. Then off for the first atoll on our trip. The atoll of Daparu. All trees and sand up here. fish say to the other? I don't know. What did one fish say to the other? Are you feeling a bit blue today? They are the most gorgeous sheep. <laughs> The accepted wisdom is that the Maldives is slowly disappearing under the ocean because of global warming. However, we found out what's really going on in this Time Bandit exclusive. What's happening is that this guy here, who you can just see, comes every morning, digs up about 20 or 30 sacks of sand, and then takes them away in his little boat. And that is why the Maldives is slowly disappearing. Aha! We're on the beach and we're now having a debate about whether there are crocodiles in the Maldives. Because these footprints, which all lead to holes are all around the island or this part of the island hmm. the mole diesels I think they'll be called not a lot of wind today we are in Huras Faru Hura which is one large sand spit so we're going ashore to make sand castles. Lots of string in this dinghy anchoring system, but it really works.
to the end of the world, or the island anyway. This is the evening fishing, where if you look at the transom, you see they're dragging two guys behind, who I think are hunting for lobsters, just along the edge of the reef. Maybe we should get in there in the morning. Okay, everybody, man overboard! So this is fishing Moldavian style. They throw all the guys in the water and then toss them some ropes so they are hanging on to the outboard side of the net and then they drop weights from the main fishing boat and that sinks the net and then they slowly swim it into the boat and then haul it all up and scoop out the fish man. I don't think these guys go home at night. We had one anchored right beside us last night. I'm probably get a bit annoyed with my guitar playing at eight o'clock because their lights were all out. And no doubt trying to get some sleep after a hard day. Probably their only thought was, thank God he doesn't have a violin.